At the beginning of September, I have sent out messages, I have sent out DMs to a couple of Sonic tubers around the community, basically asking for their opinions on Sonic Colors Ultimate. A couple of them have responded to me, but only a couple of them have sent me audio recordings stating their opinions on the game. And keep in mind, those recordings date back all the way back in the beginning of September, so the opinions they have stated in those recordings may not hold up to how they think of the game today. So keep that in mind while you watch this video. The only reason why I decided to complete this video is because I keep putting it off due to school and basically personal life getting in the way of things. But now since I have some free time, I felt the need to actually finish this project that I've been working on since the beginning of September. The YouTubers that are going to be featured in this video are going to be Nice and my friend Tiny. So I greatly appreciate them for their efforts to helping me complete this video. And their channels will be linked down in the description below. They are highly talented Sonic tubers. They deserve your attention. Anyways, let's get on to their opinions. And at the very end of the video, I'll state my opinions on the game as well. What is spitting everybody in the ring army? My name is Nice, and welcome to my small review and thoughts of Sonic Colors Ultimate so far. Let's make this quick, pun intended. Sonic Colors, as you know, is one of the Sonic games I have never played before, so everything is new to me, and me playing Ultimate is a pleasure since it's new to me and I don't know anything about it. Ultimate so far for me is fun, but also kind of lazy in my opinion. As remakes go, this one could have been made a lot better, but it's not the worst. I'm disappointed that the cutscenes themselves were not remade and made look better. That was the first thing that made me not satisfied about this game. Other than that, this is a good Sonic game in a while and I'm grateful that Colors, one of the most beloved Sonic games of all time, was chosen for a remake and I hope they remake more games that could be more satisfying than Ultimate. I'm not saying don't try it, but just don't expect too much from it. Don't expect to be mind blown about it. If you want to have another Dash gameplay time, this is the game that will be satisfying enough while we wait for Sonic Rangers. Sonic Colors Ultimate is fresh and smooth so I can't complain. I've seen so many glitches from other platforms and I can see why people are hating on it. Me personally have never experienced anything like this on my PS5, except for sometimes when I click X, it doesn't jump and I get stuck on stuff on times but it's not visually bad. The backgrounds, the colors, the water, everything that you look at is gorgeous and I can't take my eyes off the screen from it. And that ladies and gentlemen are my thoughts on Ultimate so far. Thank you Twisted for having me on and I'll speed you guys on the next run. Sonic Colors is a game that I adored as a kid and to have this game remastered is truly an amazing thing. Let's start off with the good stuff of the game. The graphics in this game are just beautiful and in my opinion it's way better than the original. My favorites being Planet Wisp and Starlight Carnival. They were really able to incorporate good lighting in the various stages. And with the HD textures, I knew my $40 were actually worth it. Another great thing is the improved physics. When I played the original game, I had a really tough time with the controls, mainly because they were not responsive at times. But in the remaster, they fixed that. So when you go right, you actually move right for crying out loud. I am also a big guy on how Sonic feels in the games. And for me, Color Sonic is the best boost Sonic in the franchise. And in the remaster, they were able to improve his speed and his jumping, making it more fun to platform without dying 5 million times. And do I need to explain how awesome the remixes are? These people really did put their all to provide the best beats for the game. Personal favorites being Sweet Mountain Act 3 and Aquarium Park Act 1. The last thing is the extra content in this game. And my god did they put some amazing stuff. The highlights are Metal Sonic races as they challenge you and give the Red Star Rings a whole new purpose. The second thing is customization as you can give Sonic the look you want. Another is the Jade Ghost Wisp as they provide you a new way to explore the levels in the game. Finally is a sweet spot of the homing attack, where if you home attack at the right time, you will get an increase of your boost, which is perfect because you have very limited ways to increase your boost in this game. The things I do not like about this game are very minor. The tail save is a good idea for those who are new to the series, but I do not see the point to use it in this specific game because the distance between one checkpoint and another checkpoint are very minimal and I always died right near a checkpoint, so it was of barely any use to me. Another is the glitches. I played this game on PC, so the glitches were very minute. 
RIP Switch users. There were things like Sonic popping up in a stage late in Sonic Carnival Act 3, and a random black box appearing in the middle of nowhere in Aquarium Park Act 1. That's about it. The final is the sound effects. There were times where I felt like Blind Squirrel Entertainment has put some sound effects out of place, such as a spring sound whenever you hit a boost pad or dash ring, and also a weird sound playing whenever you touch a bomb. It doesn't ruin your experience, just something noteworthy. So these are all the thoughts I have on Sonic Colors Ultimate. Thank you so much for having me here, Twisted. Back in like 2010, 2011 when Sonic Colors came on the Wii, I played it and I actually did fell in love with the game. Sonic Colors is one of my favorite Sonic games of all time. And when I've heard they actually are going to remaster Sonic Colors for current gen and next gen consoles and PC, I was excited. One of my favorite Sonic games is finally being brought back, finally getting a second chance at life. When I first played it when it was released, or I guess early release since I pre-ordered the Digital X copy so I got it early, while I did have fun, I felt like the game needed more time in the oven. While me personally, I didn't experience any glitches or I guess any visual bugs, I did experience some minor issues with the game, but nothing too out of the ordinary. But I felt like the game was fun, but I felt like the game needed more time in the oven. I felt like the developers were not given enough time to fully develop this game, to fully patch out any of the bugs and glitches they did have, especially for players on the Nintendo Switch version, which I'll get into that soon. I guess to start off, the things I did like about this game, I like some of the graphical improvements, like the water, the fact that this game runs at 60 FPS and in some cases 4K 60 FPS. I like the fact that the game looks actually really, really good, especially playing on PC or Xbox. I wish they could turn down the bloom effect, but Oh well, it doesn't really bother me as much as I thought it would, but it's still a good looking game. I really did like how Sonic controls in this game. He didn't really felt like too stiff like in the Wii version, but he didn't really felt too loose if that makes any sense. In my opinion, Sonic controls in this game just right. I also like the added content like the Rival Rush mode, and some of the cosmetic changes or customization options, and the fact that we get the sweet spot like Tiny was talking about in his segment of the video. One of my favorite things about this game, however, it has to be the cosmetic changes, or the customization options this game allows you to do. You could basically change Sonic, you could change him into the movie version of him, or they could change him to have like a fiery effect or the ice effect or whatever. Sure, the changes or the cosmetic changes may be simple and basic now, but I feel like if they added, added this idea or added this concept into other Sonic games, whether it be more spin-offs, other remasters, or possibly Sonic Rangers in the future, I really felt like the concept, the customization options is good. But if they keep adding it, it keep improving upon it, I feel like this could be expanded to be something more. Like imagine in the future you get to have the option to play as a different design of Sonic, like the Archie Sonic or the American version of like the Sonic Genesis covers, if that makes any sense of course. Or you could play with the Boom Sonic design or the actual movie Sonic design, you know, blue arms, separated eyes and all. While I like the customization, I feel like that they could expand upon it more in other future games, whether that be spin-offs or remasters or, I don't know, Sonic Rangers. The remixes in my opinion are a hit or miss. There are some I liked, there are some I don't care, and there are some I flat out hate, or dislike, I should say. In my opinion, the remix soundtrack isn't bad by all means, but I wish they could, they could have gave us an option to switch back between the original soundtrack and the remix soundtrack like they did with Sonic CD, switching from the American and Japanese version of the soundtrack. While me personally, I haven't experienced any glitches except for like minor issues here and there, it is still completely unacceptable to see how the Switch port especially was treated. I felt like the Switch port especially needed more time in the oven because I still can't believe like how did those glitches get past beta testers or people that have played the game before it was released like how did that happen like I don't understand how did that happen how, how did they let that happen I guess my biggest issue with this game is that I really felt like this game needed more time in the oven and I really felt like the developers were not given enough time to patch out the game really fix some of the bugs that people have with the game but me personally I like Sonic Colors Ultimate and yes, I do see a value in purchasing the game. However, if you do have Sonic Colors on 
you know, the Wii or if you have a powerful enough PC to run the game, then I suggest to either play it on there and just not waste your time with colors in my opinion. Sonic Colors Ultimate is not a bad game, but I wish they could have done some things to improve upon it. Anyways, that'll be it for today's video. Thank you so much to Nice and Tiny for helping me collaborate with this project video idea and for them to give their thoughts on the game in this video. That is greatly appreciated and their channels will be down in the description below. I highly recommend checking them out because they're seriously underrated and they deserve your attention. They probably deserve your attention more than I do because let's face it, my channel is not as good as theirs. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for my Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, and uh, peace. And check out the people that have been in this video down in the description below.